Jeffrey Nipples is a science-based idiot. Most people think the shoulder press targets the front delts. It doesn't do anything for the side or rear heads, but I wanted to test this out for myself by measuring muscle activation with these EMG electrodes on a max effort set of shoulder press on myself and my friend Will Tennyson. I expected to see a ton of front delt activation with a little bit of side and virtually no rear. Delt activation looked like this, really high as you'd expect. His rear delt activation looked like this, really low as you'd expect. But surprisingly, his side delt activation was not only also very high, it actually peaked higher than even his front delt. I was so surprised, I had to test this out for myself. And for me, I found the exact same pattern, super high front and side delt activation. Autism might be the best base for soccer, but Jeffrey's a really good example that it's not the best base for bodybuilding. His little at-home study here doesn't prove that the overhead press is some amazing lateral delt exercise. EMG is heavily overrated, but gay nerds who love studies and numbers eat this up. Yes, the lateral delts peaked higher here, but it doesn't mean it will grow more than the front delts. EMG essentially tells you how much a muscle is trying, not how much work it's doing. And it doesn't tell you which muscle went closest to failure or experienced more mechanical tension, which is actual impact growth. Stop obsessing over this useless crap info that looks cool because it doesn't change anything. For overall delt development, you still need to do a vertical press and you still need to do a lateral raise. If you want to escape the fitness matrix, be sure to check out my free community.